Right, guys and girls, we've got here what I believe is a Microtech buggy. Right, she's pretty, she's pretty old. Uh, it was uh, put in my position, put in my possession uh, by a young man named Dan. You know, he kept, he broke this thing and kept it in his cupboard for about I don't know, six years or something like that. I mean, it's in terrible condition, utter disarray. And uh, while explaining to me what happened, how he broke it, he told me he was doing backflips on this thing and throwing it off ramps. And uh, he ended up breaking this piece here, just here. So this little ball joint, this is where his ball joint sits. He's obviously smashed it down to the ground, bottomed out the suspension, and this has popped out. So. For the long, longest time, he was unable to find this part. I managed to get hold of this part. It is a slightly smaller version. Um, that's all I could find, really. I had to do a bit of modification to actually get the hub to get in. But I managed to do that. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, go through a little, uh, a little thing of how I actually done that. And then we'll put this guy back together. It should be a simple fix, really. Um, I did actually test the glow plug and it is glowing quite nicely. I got some fresh fuel and uh, we might even get this in my garden in, the, in a couple of hours. So let's uh, let's see what we can do about that. Right, so the first thing I had to do was I had to make the ball joint a tiny bit smaller. Right, because the, uh, the part I've actually got is a smaller version unfortunately. I was unable to find the exact same part uh, that was due to because uh, basically I don't actually know what model RC this is. Um, I, like I said, I do think it's a nitro tech, but I'm not quite sure about that. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is um, go into my garage, get this on my uh, get this into the device, and just basically file it down until it's um, small enough to fit into the hub. And then we'll chuck the new hub on, chuck the wheels on, see if we can get some fuel into this bloody thing, prime it up, and start the engine. So uh, let's uh, let's have it. Right, so I actually had to spend some time figuring this out. It was a bit more, uh, it wasn't that complicated, but just had to figure some things out. So first thing is, we're gonna put this little uh, metal race, this little bearing, anything like this. We get the cup, chuck the pump in. And then what I had to do is actually I had to put this uh, washer in next. That's a good fit, and this is the old race from the other hub. This hub's actually got a larger hole, but that washer helps it sit nice. Then we put in the uh, locking pin, just like that. This is the bit that actually holds onto the wheel. That goes in there, and then uh, this nut holds the wheel in. So basically, this is ready to go on now. Got our two ball joints, they go in like that. Right, so now we do the bottom joint first. This guy screws into here. Right, we get the dog bone in. Nice. Top joint in. So we'll have to probably adjust this later, but should be good enough for now. This will obviously adjust the camber of the tire, so we have to play around with this later, but I'll get it most of the way in, I think, for now. So now that's way too tight. Right, nice. So we need some persuasion. It's a virgin thread. There we 
you should have some steering. Nice. Cut them off. And you don't have to wrench these down. It's just this to be uh, just enough to it. That's it. That's all it needs. Remember, it is plastic. It might be uh, fiberglass reinforced or nylon reinforced, whatever it is, but I mean, it is just plastic, so these ain't going to be coming out. That's uh, plenty. Alright, the one thing I did notice while I was putting this together is that this little nut has been completely stripped through. Alright, completely stripped through. It should look like that. Alright, so it should actually hold that bar, this little bar. Alright, so I'm going to replace that as well. And otherwise, what will happen is the wheel just basically won't have any traction. So, we'll get that on. Alright, so we've got the uh, the new little nut on, uh, which means we can uh, get the friggin' tire on. So, you should just go on there nice and easy. Bang, get the nut on. It's a little nylock. I think it's a seven millimeter. Ready. All right. What that remains is to get the tire done on the other side, and then we can plumb this baby up and take her out into the garden. So uh, I'll do that, and the next time you see me, I shall be in my garden. And uh, just like that. One more thing I've just realised is that there is zero oil in these shocks. It's all spring. There's no damping in. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to take these boys apart. And uh, I am, just to remind you, I am by no means an expert in these kinds of things. Um, I'm just going to fill these guys up with some oil. Yeah. I don't have shop oil. I don't own shop oil. I'm not a big RC guy. I just like tinkering. So, as far as I'm aware, yep, look at that. Bone uh, dry. Uh, I'm just going to fill these guys up with some lovely oil. I don't know if there's supposed to be air left in these things or what. Uh, I think I'll fill it up most of the way to be honest. It's nearly full now. It's nearly full, it's right at the edge. I'm not sure if I can show that without spilling this everywhere. Alright. Put the top back on. This is going to make a mess. Probably. Everybody's gonna make a bit of a mess. It's a bit awkward trying to film this. <laughs> Alright, so let's tighten that down. Alright, let's tighten that down. That seems to have done the job. Let's chuck the spring back on. The, uh, the boot. Oh, yeah, that is much better. So, yeah. I think I better go around and do all four shocks just to make sure they're all uh, full of oil and working the way they're supposed to be working. Let's get some cool air. Oh, there we go. 